Patient interview number one. Patient's name is Victor Freeze, commonly referred to as Mr. Freeze. Patient suffers from complex bereavement disorder, depression, and intense denial. How are we doing today, Victor? Where is my wife? Where is Nora? Relax, Victor. She's in safe hands, I assure you. You will tell me where she is, or I will freeze the blood in your veins, and you will shatter like glass. Threats, Victor? Really? Threats are going to get you nowhere. Besides, you know I can't tell you. Strict orders. Mm. The Batman will pay for tearing us apart. Victor, you do realize you're the one to blame for all of this, right? You broke into a Wayne Enterprises R&D lab and killed 47 people. The ones who were lucky enough to survive your attack are now missing fingers and toes. They were in my way. They were innocent people. With families and lives. You don't feel bad for what you've done? I lost the ability to feel anything long ago. Well, why did you break into the lab? I needed their equipment. For what? For my wife. But then he showed up. The Batman? Yes. The Batman. Patient interview number two. How are you feeling today, Victor? Confused. Why confused? Because I'm still in my suit and not in my cell. Well, Victor, last time you broke out, you destroyed the only cell capable of holding you without your suit. So for now, you're going to have to make do in one of Mr. Carlo's old holding cells. You think this cell can hold me? You do realize my suit still has many offensive capabilities? Oh yeah? That's what the eight inches of bulletproof glass is for. You can't hurt me, Victor. So there's no use in threatening me. Now let's get down to business. I'm curious. How did you become Mr. Freeze? What turned you into this cold, calculating man? I would ask you to mind your business, Doctor. <sighs> Look, let's make a deal. Tell me what I want to know, and I'll tell you where your wife is. But you said... I know what I said. But sometimes, you have to break the rules to get what you want. So do we have a deal, Victor? Patient interview number three. So, Victor, do we have a deal? Will you follow through on your end? Of course, Victor. I want to hear you say it. I will keep my word. I promise. Fine. It all started when my wife got sick. She was suffering from a rare neurological disease. I promised her that I would find a cure, but time was running out. All I needed was a little more time. So you cryogenically froze her? Yes. I was working at Gothcorp at the time. I had all the necessary equipment I needed to use to keep her in stasis. You worked... For Gothcorp? Yes, but soon the company director found out about Nora and I. He tried to unhook her from the machine that was keeping her alive. I tried to defend her, then I was knocked back into a table of cryogenic chemicals. The chemicals changed me. My body temperature dropped, and soon. I could no longer live outside of a sub-zero environment. So you became like this because you were trying to save your wife? Everything I do, I do for Nora. 
And tell me, Victor, if Nora were awake, how do you, how do you think she would react to knowing what you're doing? Knowing that you're murdering innocent people just so you could save her. Enough questions. We had a deal. Look, Freeze, I... A deal's a deal. But I don't think you'll like the answer to your question. Where is my wife? She... She's being held at Gothcorp. What? Now look, Freeze, it, it was the only place that had the technology to keep her cryopod going. You left her with them? Let me out of here! No! Freeze! That's enough! I'm sorry, Victor. You gave me no choice. <sighs> what have you done? I turned your suit off. Without your suit regulating your temperature, you'll die. <sighs> this room has 24 hour surveillance. Try that again. And next time, I won't be turning the suit back on. You're just like him. Like who?